We moved out here October of 2019. Ever since we moved in here, we've been dreaming about and talking about constantly what to do with this available space out here. We really wanted the girls to have a place where they can safely run around, play around. When COVID hit, we felt even more the need to start working on the outdoor space. Playgrounds were closed, museums, amusement parks. We wanted them to use the outdoor space, but it was still not ready. that area so trucks and people that come in can easily you turn their way out this is always a problem for us figuring out the different phases of demo and installation and, and everything and it's kind of unbelievable that's going to be done around six to eight weeks. I thought it would take like months and months. This is kind of exciting. We heard about Yard Zen through Instagram. We saw their ads, I looked into it, saw their designs, and loved it. We love the fact that they can work remotely and that they don't have to come to our property. We went through two rounds of designs with Yardzen. They came up with this amazing design and it really blew us away because we were not able to imagine the space in this light. They were able to take our photos and videos from our phones and create this amazing rendering and design. And it gave us a jumping point of ideas and inspiration. We asked Yardzen to recommend us some contractors and we went with MG Construction Index. We looked at their designs and we okay. loved everything that they've done. And so we reached out right away. For the first phase of this renovation, we are focusing on the area right in front of the door, the patio, and uh, the entertaining outdoor kitchen area. We had a bunch of these uh, broken slab pieces all over here, which was sort of a hazard for kids when they would run around um, because edges would stick up and trip them. My in-laws are here. They're here to pick up the rocks and slab that we left over for them. They want to reuse that for their garden space, which is great. Melissa and I went to go look for some flooring materials, some tiles, some pavers. There was a lot of discussion about what is the best option. Do we go with tiles that are more uh, inexpensive than pavers but could easily crack over time? Or do we go with pavers that are more expensive but uh, will last for a very long time? Day two of demo and we have gotten a lot done. The contractors are so amazing. Uh, MG Construction Index, they're so quick, so professional. They have done most of the tiling, uh, removing of that, the existing ugly tiling that's been cracking. As you can see, the tiles are gone. We will be replacing them with new decking and we will be lighting up the steps as well so we could walk safely in the dark. This will all be uh, either in pavers or tiles, we're not sure exactly, maybe both. This is a retaining wall that they set up. Before, this this whole area was covered in like these hedges, like these bushes. We removed all of that. The contractors dug up all the roots and put that retaining wall over here just to create extra space for this area. These steps will be redone. Yeah, there's, it's gonna be all brand new decking. I think we may add lights on the steps so we know where we're going at night. The top area, that retaining wall will just be kind of improved. We're gonna reuse some of the brick that we removed over there and put it over there. So this is our like in-law suite, our guest house slash my office. Before the staircase went this way and out this way, it was really hard for us to access the door and bring any furniture in or out 
of this place and so we're actually going to move it down this way and it also create more room for the kitchen this is where we had our laundry hoist so we're gonna still have our laundry hoist here because we get such good like wind over here and sunshine so we're gonna set it up here but we're gonna have to create some room this way to uh, create steps down because we want to be able to access that lower area from here this is a big concern of mine that I'm hoping we can resolve. Whoever did the asphalt here previously just decided to end it right here and not finish. And I, I'm thinking the rain and all of that over the years um, just eroded the road, this ground here. And so, yeah, not sure how we're gonna fix that, but I'm sure our contractors have something in mind. So this is the first uh, stage and we're really excited about the next one. That will be more of the installation and picking out some of the materials. So that's the update so far and we're excited to show you more next.